Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first out of a new series that I'm going to try over here. As you guys can see by the title, I did a full face of Tarte Cosmetics. This is the first time that I've done a one brand full face of makeup on my channel and it was so much fun. I cannot wait to do more of them. So I have some amazing news. Today's video is sponsored by Tarte. I know that's insane and crazy, but I'm so excited to be working with them and this is something that I would totally do on my own so this is amazing and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So I'm sure you guys know that I'm already obsessed with Tarte. Their Tartlet palettes are some of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. The Shape Tape Concealer is one of the best concealers on the market and so I have a ton of makeup to go over in this video. A lot of it is new to me but it's been on the market for a long time and then some products like the Setting Spray from Tarte are brand Brand new so if you guys like the concept of one brand makeup tutorials then please give this video a thumbs up for me and if you want to see how I got this entire makeup look with Tarte products then just keep on watching all right, so I'm doing everything in this video how I would if I was just doing my makeup off camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is carve out my brows with my concealer. So I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral, and I'm going to carve out my brows with a little flat synthetic brush. So I'm just taking a tiny bit. A little bit goes a long way, and I'm just going to carve along the natural arch of my brow. And I honestly don't know why, I just like to do this before my other steps, just so my brows look nice and clean. Then once the concealer is laid down, I just buff it out with any kind of flat kabuki small brush that I have. And even just that tiny bit of concealer makes my brows look lifted and shapely. It helps my face kind of be balanced out. Now, quite a few products in this video are brand new to me, this being one of them. This is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. Now, I've heard so many people rave about the Maracuja Oil, and it's usually used as like a night oil, so that's probably what I'm going to do most of the time. But right now, my face is feeling so dry, so I'm just going to add a few drops of this to my beauty blender and just add some moisture into my face before we jump into the face makeup. So I'm just going to use a little dropper, add some to my beauty blender. I don't want to add too much because I don't want to ruin whatever face makeup I put on. So I'm just going to tap this in. I wouldn't do this if you're an oily creature, but I'm definitely more on the dry side. All right, I'm looking hydrated, so I'm going to move on to primer. So this product is also new to me. This is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. So again, I need to be hydrated and I'm just gonna apply this with my Duo Fiber Brush. And I haven't decided which foundation I wanna use from Tarte yet, but I'm hoping that this plays well with either one of them. This is my first time doing a full face of a brand and I'm so excited to be doing this. I already want to make this a series on my channel and I have some brands that I'm ready to add to my list. Okay, so I just added the base tape to my Sigma flat kabuki air the f80 air i use this for all of my primers pretty much when i don't want to touch my face with my hands so i'm just gonna brush this in it feels really cooling and i think this is going to be really comparable to the usual hydrating primers that i use all the time if you guys didn't know i actually got my lips done last week and they're finally down to where i think they're going to be they were so big last week and i feel like people were giving me kind of a hard time um but now i'm so happy with them this is kind of what they're gonna look like i think okay so i'm so excited for this this is the buffer brush from tarte and i feel like i've heard specifically one youtuber uh her name is stephanie letta talk about this brush so much that when i was picking out items to do this full face i was like this is right there at the top of my list i had to have this guy in my collection so this is what i'm going to use to apply my foundation today it is fairly larger than i thought it would be but i have such a big face it's going to be perfect now i need to make a decision here i have two foundations from tarte i have the face tape foundation and i have the amazonian clay full coverage foundation the face tape is in the shade light neutral and the amazonian foundation is in the shade fair light neutral I I think they'll both match me they both look like pretty good matches i just really don't know which one i want to use so i think i'm going to go for lasting power i'm going to use the amazonian clay full coverage foundation this has a 12 hour wear it's oil free and it has an spf 15. okay so i'm just taking a little bit of this on my finger i'm going to dot it around my face i do have some pesky breakouts lately i don't know why i don't know if it's hormonal 
or what so that's why I wanted a little bit of extra coverage. My body is also a lot darker than my face right now because I'm tan from the sun, so I might have to bronze this up later. Okay, it is moment of truth time with this buffer brush. I'm just gonna buff this in. And I think I'm gonna add even more. I want a little bit more coverage, but my concealer will obviously add some coverage too. So I'm adding more to the cheek area. And my first impression of this foundation is actually really good. I thought it was going to be too matte for me for my liking because I like to be super kind of dewy. Um, but it's actually very natural looking, probably because of the hydrating primer and the oil. Now to really secure the coverage, I'm going to go in with the Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to use this underneath my eyes and kind of dot it around my face where I need extra coverage. This is a tried and true concealer and I'm so glad that I found my perfect shade. Light Neutral works so well for me. So I'm just going to dot this into the hollows underneath my eyes and this is going to give me a brightening effect. Definitely don't need as much as I'm using, but I really want to go full coverage. And I'm going to hit my chin. I'm going to emphasize my upper lip. And I'm also going to apply some to the middle of my forehead. And I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. Then I'm just going to do a quick buff over with the buffing brush. So before I move on to my eye makeup, I'm gonna set my face with the Shape Tape setting powder, and then after the eyes, we'll come back and finish the rest of the face makeup. So isn't this so cool? The setting powder has a flip up lid. It's such a cool component. I'm gonna dip in with my Sigma large powder brush and go all over my face and under my eyes just to set everything. All right, so moving on to eyes, Tarte has one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow formulas, and if you guys have been watching me for a long time, then you know that. I have all of my little Tartlet palettes behind me. I've used them all to the point of hitting pan, so I decided for this video I would pick up a palette that I have not tried yet, and that is what I did. So today I'm going to use the Tartist Pro palettes. I know it's kind of shocking that I didn't already have this in my collection, but I didn't, so I'm very excited to do a look with this. I'm such a neutral lover, so I really want to do like a neutral, sultry makeup look today. But first, I want to use my little Tarte base. This is the Lid Lock in the shade Buff. So I'm just going to dip into this with the same buffing brush that I used for carving out my brows. And I'm just going to tap a light layer onto my lid just to cover up any veining that I might have, even though the concealer pretty much covered everything up. I'm so excited to do a neutral look. You guys have no idea. I've actually been doing so much color lately and I love it. I feel like a whole new person doing color, but I am ready for this palette and this palette is ready for me. <laughs> Just look at the beautiful neutrals. So I'm going to start with a matte off-white called Classic and I'm going to dust this all over my lid with a Sigma E35. I can't believe I'm successfully doing a full face of one brand. This is so exciting to me. So this is just going to act as a transition. And this palette is so cool because it's mostly matte, but it has a little row of shimmers over here. But I think for this look, I do want to do an all matte eyeshadow look. I haven't done one in a while. Okay, so I just used Classic. I'm going to hop over to the shade Innocent. I'm going to pick up this Innocent shade with a Sigma E25. And I'm going to pop this into the outer corner of my eye. And just blend the edges. To keep everything even, I'm taking an E36 from Sigma. It's a tiny little blender and that same innocent shade. And I'm going to go underneath the lower lash line. I do want this look to end up being smoky. Now I really want to deepen this up, so I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Edgy. It's a dark brown. And I'm going to place this right in the outer corner. And with those same motions, I'm kind of just working it towards the center of the lid. Trying not to go up too high. Then with another blending brush, I'm going to take this tan shade called Bold. And Bold is going to go right in the center of my lid, blending it out with the brown shade. 
Then I'm just going to darken up the brown one last time and that's going to be it for the eyeshadow. I'm pumped to finish up the eye look so I'm going to go in with some mascara before my lashes. This is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I can't remember what collection this is from but it's in the really pretty kind of mermaidy packaging. My favorite mascara from Tarte was the Maneater Mascara but mine is gone. But I'm just doing a light coat before lashes so everything blends nicely. Now for the fun part, I love Tarte lashes. So I finally picked up another pair. This is the style go-to lash. So I don't want to blind you guys. Hopefully you can see. They're really wispy and they look super full but also kind of natural. Now a while back I had a pair of lashes from Tarte. I believe they came in BoxyCharm and I wore them every single day until the lashes died probably like 11 days in a row i loved them so much but i couldn't remember what style they were i know it wasn't this one because it wasn't this packaging but i thought these would be really cute and they're fairly affordable they're 12 dollar lashes so you can make them last a really long time if you take care of them so definitely the lashes from Tarte are some of my favorites i feel like they're right there in between where they work for beginners and also people who are more experienced with lashes here's a better look at the style go-to lash so I'm gonna do a little trim up I always have to trim my lashes a little bit and I'm gonna pop these on and the eye look will be complete all right so my lashes are on I love these just as much as the ones that I had before so I'm happy this already makes my look look more kind of sultry and they're so soft and wispy but now I'm gonna add a little bit of brown eyeliner this is the Tardis double take liner so it has one side that is liquid liner and one side that is a pencil liner and I'm going to use the pencil tip today. So I'm just going to use this to go into my tight line and it's just going to fill any gaps that I might have with the lashes. And I like the brown because it's not as harsh as a black liner. Okay, so time to move on to face finally. I literally feel naked when I don't have my contour, blush, and highlight. So first I'm going to start off with just bronzing up the perimeter of my face. So I'm going to take the OG Park Ave Princess Bronzer. I'm going to pick this up with a large angled contour from Sigma and I'm kind of going to lazily contour but also just focus on bronzing up my face to make it match my body a little better. I'm going to hit my jawline a little bit and I'm going to hit my forehead too just to even it out. Not because I feel like I have a big forehead because I don't, but just to add some color. And I like to lazily take like the side of the brush and just like barely hit it to my nose. I really can't be bothered with nose contour half the time. This is the Tardis Pro Glow and Blush Palette for my blush and highlighter today. This is also new to me. It's literally so stunning. I'm obsessed with like the double door packaging. So I'm going to mix these two blush shades, like the peachy pinky shades, and they look very pigmented so I'm going to tap off the brush. And then what I like to do lately is kind of awkwardly smile and just hit the front most parts of my face. So right here and right here and just kind of tap it in. And I love blush. I always give my nose like a little hit and then a little dot to the forehead. Then I'm going to take my powder brush and just blend everything together just so I don't have any harsh lines before my highlighter. And then I've never used this either, but I'm gonna take the highlighter shade out of the Blush and Glow palette and I'm gonna hit my cheekbone. I also like to hit above my eyebrows. And then I take some on my pinky. I put it on the tip of my nose and right down the bridge. And I'm gonna blend that out with the side of my brush. And I'm just going to add a little to my cupid's bow. And then again, I'm going to take my powder brush and diffuse. And then there are literally endless opportunities for lipstick, but I have two matte lip paints. I just have to decide which one I want to use today. I have the shade Exposed, which is like a pinky nude, and Salty, which is a peachy nude. I think I'm going to go with Exposed. I wear these all the time. They're not new to me. They're one of my favorite formulas. I love how I don't have to overline anymore because I got lip filler. <laughs> okay, so good choice. I love the shade Exposed. And then last but not least, Tarte has a brand new setting spray. This is the Stay Spray, and it's supposed to make your makeup last for 16 hours. Test out the sprayer. 
Ooh, good, it has a nice fine mist. I really like the smell of it too. It smells so fresh and clean. So I'm just gonna give myself a little spritz and just fan it down a little bit. So that is it, you guys, for my full face of Tarte Cosmetics. I cannot believe that this was my first time doing a video like this. I wanna give a huge shout out to Tarte for sponsoring this video and for bringing this series onto my YouTube channel. This is something that I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with. So let me know what brands you guys wanna see me do a full face of makeup with in the comments. If you guys are interested in anything that I use today, I'm gonna leave all of the products down in the description box as always. But thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel. Don't forget if you are new to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future content from me. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye!